Hi, it's Andre from Convey of Randomness, and today I'll be looking at on ear and over ear headphones. From the first truly successful headphones of 1910 to the age of the Walkman in the late 70s, all the way to the endless brands and styles of today, headphones enable us to have that truly personal audio experience, whether you're using it for music, podcasts, communication, or gaming. These days, the term headphones can be used to encompass the four types of audio listening devices that include over-ear or circumoral, on-ear or supramoral, earbud and in-ear. All of these types have similar and differing characteristics depending on what the user wants or prefers. Over-ear headphones are designed to fit over the ear and substantially reduce any ambient sound while on-ear headphones, which are most widely used, fit and press on the ears and are less effective at reducing ambient sound compared to the over-ear headphones. Earbuds or earphones fit directly into the outer ear and just like on-ear headphones, they can be less effective at reducing the ambient sounds. While in-ear headphones are inserted directly into the ear canal and they're probably the best type of headphones which reduce the most amount of ambient sound. For this video, I'll be concentrating on on-ear and over-ear types of headphones. Of course, what one consumer prefers compared to another can vary and can very much depend on the design and look of headphones, the comfort, the different types all vary from one, from one another. For example, I may find that one type of headphone can be uncomfortable to wear, which may lead me to purchase another type of headphone which is more comfortable to wear. Price. You'll find that earbuds and headphones are generally cheaper than the comparative in-ear and over-ear headphones. I've got two different Sony headphones, one from each of the two categories, which I'm going to review and compare with each other, and I'll let you know at the end which one I prefer. In the on-ear category, I've got the Sony MDR-XB650BT wireless headphones, and in the over-ear category, I've got the Sony WH-CH700N noise-cancelling headphones. First of all, the Sony XB650BT on-ear headphones. These headphones are part of Sony's extra bass range, which prove their worth when listening to electronic or bassy music. It's a good all-rounder. You can really feel the bass elements in songs. Lyrics are clear over the sound elements and are definitely a great way of listening to podcasts or making and receiving hands-free phone calls. Sound quality remains clear and concise no matter how loud or quiet the volume is. It has a 30 hour battery life, which means if you're listening to any music for at least an hour a day, then it's going to be a while before you're going to have to charge it again. And all this is, can be charged via a micro USB slot for about four hours. There is sound leakage to others around you depending on what volume you set it at, but you're able to set it at an appropriate level where you're able to maintain your privacy while at the same time not disturbing the person next to you. The expandable headband, which provides a secure fit even when running and head banging, while the soft cushion ear pads make it very comfortable to wear, although when I take them off, my ears are noticeably warmer. The only issue I have, and it's probably going to be the same with others in my position, is because I wear glasses, I notice that after a while, the ear pads which are pressing on my ear with the temples of the glasses can cause a little bit of discomfort, which usually suggests that I've obviously worn them for far too long, but that's an issue that I'd have with all headphones. Next, the Sony WH-CH700N over-ear headphones. As the XB650 is good, this is definitely a great all-rounder. You get the sense of total immersion when listening to music because of the nature of the on-ear headphones. And compared to this XB650, this displays the full richness of the sound and every element on the sound rather than just enhancing the bass. It's also one of five Sony headphones that is compatible with the Sony headphones app. This allows you to customize and tailor the sound to how you like it. These headphones have a 35 hour battery life and also a micro USB slot. I like the nifty feature that allows you to quick charge for 10 minutes and you'll get an extra hour of usage. An additional feature is the CH700's artificial intelligent noise cancelling technology which is able to analyse your surroundings and adjust the amount of external sound that you hear appropriately. Ultimately, there are many other factors that may sway your decision on which headphones you buy. Certainly in these type of products, Price often dictates the quality of the product, but that doesn't mean that a budget pair won't provide you with great sound and build quality. The over and on-ear headphones have their advantages and very few disadvantages in my opinion when being compared to each other. Both are very comfortable and are 
can adapt and fit to a variety of different head and ear sizes, but as I mentioned earlier, after a while, that with the XB650, if you're wearing glasses, it can become uncomfortable, which is something that may cause people to choose the much roomier CH700s. If you want that more immersive sound, the CH700 provides the best all-round sound quality with its rich sound output, which is not saying that the XB650 sound output is not as good, but these headphones are bass-based, which is what they excel in, giving you that thumping feeling to even the mildest of songs. You won't really notice those extra five hours that you get with the CH700s, but they are certainly better when you are able to get an extra hour of battery life with that 10 minute quick charge. And then when the battery does die, you're able to plug in an aux lead and use them wired, which is a great backup to have. There are only a few situations in which you wouldn't want noise cancelling, such as driving or road running, as by doing so it can be dangerous because you're cutting yourself off from external sounds that are vital for your safety. In situations other than those mentioned before, noise cancelling can only be seen as advantageous, especially when it adapts to your surroundings like the CH700 does. If you're in an area which has a low frequency ambient noise, like being on public transport, the external noise that you hear is reduced, allowing you to enjoy your music without the interruption of the external environment. The build quality of both headphones is good, with the CH700 feeling the more premium product with its top wrapped in leather. I did notice that after prolonged use, one of the areas above the ear cup on the XB650 cracked and broke, resulting in me having to repair the site with glue, which hasn't resulted in any loss of function compared to its pre-broken state. If I had to pick one, I'd pick the CH700, as the overall sound quality is superior to the XB650. Not saying that if I was given those headphones, I'd be downbeat, because I wouldn't. The pressure is off. If you're wearing a CH700 for a long time, as you know, if you wear glasses with the XB650, there'll be a certain amount of time that you'll be able to wear them before you have to take them off for a rest. Both of these headphones sit at the affordable end of the price range, so you'll definitely get your money's worth no matter which headphone you purchased. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel as well. And if you do those things, why not press the bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. Anyway, that's all from me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, did you like that last video? Why not watch another video, like one of these two here, and even subscribe to the channel down there as well. See you later. Bye.